Students at the College of the Bahamas are now taking steps to secure themselves after a female student was held up and robbed on campus just after sitting a midterm exam last night. LaDon Davis visited the campus today to get reaction from students. Um, it was Creole 104 and um, we were having a midterm examination last night and a student left because she completed her examination. So as we were wrapping up the exam, we heard somebody saying, help, help. It was those screams of distress from a female student being attacked by a gunman that spurred COBA's president, Alfonso Major, to action. We walked outside, me and a colleague of mine, Gerard, and we saw a man in all black, black shirt, blue bands accosting us so we ran out and we were trying to get him because he's a police officer and when we came out the guy ran and he followed the guy um, by him trying to follow the guy in the back of the a block the guy pulled the gun on him um, I went back to the classroom the girl um, was a bit battered um, she had some marks on her face she was she was bleeding her shoes was pop her, her cell phone got stolen Cobus president Alfonso Major says criminal acts on campus will only get worse if security efforts are not improved. There's a total underfunding of securities here at the College of the Bahamas. We look at the fact that they lack resources such as flashlights, they lack resources such as walkie-talkies, and these are the things that you need to basically equip the men that you have here on a day-to-day -day basis to protect the campus, as well as most of the cameras, not operational, most of the lights which are 24 out, they have yet to be contracted. But this is not the first time that a COB student has been robbed on campus. Back in January, a student was robbed in one of the college's bathrooms and another in the parking lot of the Chapter 1 bookstore. Some victims of campus crime say three to six security officers patrolling the campus isn't good enough to protect more than 5,000 students. So it's not very safe, especially for females, and especially at night if you have classes coming out 9 or 10 o'clock in the night. So no, I don't feel very safe. Well, access points that are not manned by security and the college is not doing anything about it. Uh, they implemented more security guards but those security guards are basically here just to watch the cars and we see it as a problem. Cobus officials say they plan to team up with the crisis center to implement a preventative hotline sometime next week. They also plan to beef up nightly patrols and partner with businesses to safeguard students while on the outskirts of the campus. LaDon Davis, ZNS Network News.